Jackie, this is exceptionally important announcement and really goes back a year or maybe it's two years to Alstom. Did Jeff Immelt blow it by buying Alstom? <laughs> Well, uh, he, he took a huge bet, no doubt. I mean, prob part of the problem is circumstance. You know, it took a long time to close that deal, a year and a half. And during that time, you know, orders were not coming in. So once the deal finally closed, you know, they didn't have the orders there. So, I mean, they're catching up and they're also coming at a bad time where renewables are, you know, in favor, uh, powering from gas is less favorable. So it's a little bit of, you know, pomp and circumstance and it's not working out in their favor right now. We've seen other mergers like this before, Alcatel, Lucent, and in others, is it harder to lay off people in Stuttgart than Schenectady? <laughs> Well, um, you know, look, what we're getting hearing now is you're, something like 1,400 jobs um, are getting cut in Germany, uh, about the same amount in Switzerland. We don't know exactly where the, you know, repartition is coming from. What we do know is that it, they're unlikely to touch France. And again, as we pointed out, you know, Aston is, is, a, is a problem for them. Within this, again, is then the overall General Electric uh, picture. As you piece this together with our global business desk in the United States, are we going to see more of this? Is it a one-off to power? Or are they going to go division by division through a Flannery right-sizing? Yeah, no, it's a good point. So, you know, Flannery has said that they need to cut, um, you know, at least three and a half billion across the board. You know, this is power unit as part of a plan to cut a billion in cost and they're going to sell assets. So, you know, we are going to see sort of a further preening, if you would, of the businesses to try and narrow it and focus it and respond to some of the skepticism, you know, that the market has 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 laid on them.